over the... Woo! Yeah. No lift! <laughs> it feels great! Both it feels really good! Yeah. <laughs> What is happening guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today I have a Dravit Gray G80 M3 competition in front of me. This is owned by a good friend of mine, Yusuf. He's going to come on here in a second and talk a little bit about this car, everything that he's done to it, and like all of the feature film videos, I'll try to list his modifications in the description for you guys. All right, you guys, so here is my friend Yusuf. Yusuf, welcome to the channel, my friend. I've been meaning to get him on for quite a while now because he has my favorite G80 M3. This thing is absolutely sick. I I remember the day that you bought this car and then you started modifying it a little bit and the next thing I know it's like completely modified in a totally different car. <laughs> Yusuf, tell us a little bit about everything that you've done to this car and what your plans are. The latest edition actually, I don't know if you've seen uh, James' video but I didn't have the yellow DRLs. I picked them up from uh, a local guy here, uh, Jose, Yeah. JR G80, mm -hmm. so he, he pretty much has them on, on, on hand. They look really good. Yeah, so I was a little hesitant about the red grill and the yellow DRLs but I think it really works really well. Um, so I have the RW signature lip mm -hmm. in the front. I have the Autotechnic uh, gloss black grill with the red uh, outside and then these vents actually not uh, factory these are from CT Carbon. Oh, okay. So as you can see I have a uh, a combination of, <laughs> of yeah, products. This is like the CSL style, right? It is, it is. Yeah, yeah. that looks so really good. And where did you get that from? Auto Technic. Auto Technic, okay, Yeah, so cool. they, they, they hit me up. So this is kind of, I think, one of the first ones that came out with the red replica for the CSL. Yeah, I feel like if you have a G80 or a G82, you have to do that grill. Like that <laughs> grill just makes this car look a million times better than the factory grill. You know, what's what's so funny is that now, every, like it's almost like you, when you see a stock grill, you're like, huh, I, I, I now I remember what it looks like what yeah. you said. <laughs> <laughs> exactly it just looks so much more aggressive with this grill and basically everything that you've done with this car is like pretty much how i would do it man like the carbon lift the carbon ducts the csl style grill and the yellow drls against the giraffe it's right. just oh it's so it's so good it looks Appreciate amazing it, dude yeah amazing. You, you probably sneak get a sneak peek from the front mount intakes but we'll get to that later. yeah yeah we'll get to that we'll get to that is, uh, I want to make sure to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Is this thick whip fitment approved? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> absolutely, dude. This No, this car, your fitment's actually perfect. Like, this car looks insanely good in person. Um, the fitment of the, the BC Forge wheels, there's, there's no gap. No. There's no <laughs> fender. <laughs> Entire gap. It looks really, really good, man. I love it. Yeah, I appreciate it. So, uh, what we have here also is the... CT carbon side skirts. Mm -hmm. They're a little bit. Uh, the, there's there's a, another style that they have, but this is the most aggressive. Common comes out more. So at the beginning, I had to kind of teach myself to kind of extend my leg yeah. a little bit out, <laughs> not use it as a yeah. foot pedestal. And also, this is one of one. So these are um, by per, uh, by a gentleman uh, out of Germany. Mm -hmm. And um, this is one of the most asked questions: Where did I get it from? Can I get some more? Yeah. I'll try to reach out to him and see if. Uh, <laughs> Because they're, yeah. <laughs> they're gonna ask. I really like, yeah, like these though. They like they follow the contour of the rear yeah. super nice. And it, all of these, I think the thing that I really like the most about your car and your build is everything is really tasteful and thoughtful. Like you didn't just throw a bunch of things on this car. It looks very clean and simple. So this kind of my uh, my style, like my approach, kind of yeah. like a few things. But uh, there's also the the wheels and the uh, so I have the BC Forge LE tents. Yeah, these are these are so good. Good. These look amazing on this car. So he did the all black, just basically gloss black gloss all the black, way through. The way. Yeah, and then the stainless steel hardware and this and the step lip. This is not the step lip. This is the flush lip. Oh, this is the yeah. flush lip. Yeah, okay, yeah. cool. The step lip is the MLE MLE ten. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I had the MLE eight yeah. ones yeah. on my Supra, and they Actually, look they're you, very similar to this. You're you're the one who kind of got me into the from the from the Supra wheels and the fitment on that. Yeah. I was like, I gotta get me a set. Of yeah, them. dude. They just <laughs> look, especially with the PS4 S's like the fitment with the chunkiness is just it's perfect man so it, the, it the funny so story behind it is like i love those wheels that you had on the supra mm -hmm. but they kind of look very similar to the stock which is a pain in the yeah. in the neck to clean yeah. so i was like i didn't want to have another <laughs> so. yeah the mesh is, is a nightmare these are a bit more spoky yeah, yeah. looking these are, you know what they almost remind me of they're like a more aggressive version of the apex fl5s I don't know if you've ever oh, seen those, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I had them on my M2 and they look a lot like this. Minus like, are these two piece? Two piece. Yeah, so minus the two piece, mine were just a one piece and flow formed, but um, the style overall just 
beautiful one like this. These look amazing on this car. What is the sizing of the wheels and tires? Oh, oh yeah, that's a that's a that's that's a big question. So it's a 20 by 10 with a plus 12 and 20 by 11 plus 14. Okay, cool. With a 275 tire in the front and a 295 in the back. Okay, nice. So nice. you get a little bit more meat. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> The 11 um, will eat it. I mean, the rear hips on the M3 are so wide. Yeah. Like, it'll take 295 all day. You could probably put a 305. Yeah, I heard you can. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow, that's going to be close. <laughs> You'd have to probably lift it up a little bit. Because <laughs> yeah. it is tight, man. This rear, this rear is, that's like credit card, credit card <laughs> tight. <laughs> but I love it. It looks so good. For the rear, we have the GTS tail lights. Mm -hmm. uh, those are actually, uh, I picked them up from James, oh, but okay. uh, he told me that he got them from Euroclass. James's G80 M3 tail lights, they live on into you <laughs> such a build. There's, there's few parts here. <laughs> I feel like when James parted out that car, yeah, like just... all of our friends got the parts. So like all <laughs> of our friends have a yeah. bit of James. I've car. received so many messages like, hey, I wanted those. I was like, sorry, <laughs> dibs. <You know? laughs> well, they look amazing on this car. The, the only other ones that I like beyond this well the factory ones look good too but the csl ones look insane yeah, those are yeah, like yeah. really really i think they're pretty expensive though they're like yeah very expensive the, yeah. The, they look like uh, wires yeah like they look like wires, wires. they're yeah. crazy they're crazy but these look great as well so i also have uh, the keys motorsport rear diffuser mm -hmm. um shout out to them and um it's nice fitment looks good yeah, it's, it's, it was one of the easiest installs. Nice. <laughs> Which is a good thing with yeah. a diffuser because yeah. diffusers are, they can sometimes it, be it really... fit like, just like our glove. Just, yeah, boom, yeah. Just went in. Yeah, no, it looks great. Uh, this is the, I actually picked it up from Victor. He's local here, but it's, uh, he told me that it's from R44. And that's like a kick. PSM style. Yeah, it's like the high PSM kick kind of, uh, I don't know what, the, but yeah. yeah high kick spoiler. Uh, Looks great, man. And um, we'll talk about the exhaust, but uh, these are not stock tips, of course. Of course not. No, they're <laughs> massive. I have the IND paint matched oh, yeah, reflect rear reflectors and as well the front. Yeah, There's the another deletes. one that they uh, that they have for the rear where it looks like a honeycomb. Or yeah, I, I kind of prefer the the paint match. No, these look way cleaner. So yeah, I, also, I like these. Yeah. yeah, these look way cleaner, and the paint match looks really good. Yeah, it's. You actually, I actually tested it with the Dravit. If you put, because right now it's kind of gloomy, but you'll see how there's flakes. Yeah, dude. Okay. Actually, I tested it on the reflectors, and you, it also has the flakes. Oh, it on. does have the gold yeah, flake. So this in is it. how much. Oh IND. yeah, you can see it. <laughs> That's how much like I N D like it's nails the, it. Yeah. Well, nails. let me just say, Dravit gray is easily my favorite BMW or at least new body yeah. BMW paint coat. This color looks so good. And I think that one of the biggest letdowns of the G87 was that it was not produced in Dravit Gray. Yeah. <laughs> that car should have been made in Dravit Gray because it looks so good in red, black, and that's it. <laughs> it would have it looked amazing in Dravit Gray. And I just love the Dravit. It's it's such a uh, complex and, and cool color. It's a dark gray and it's got this like gold flake to it. But in overcast days like this, it almost just looks like a Nardo gray. And especially against these yellow DRLs, man, it suits the car really, really good. Somebody actually asked me like if I would uh, go with another color, what would it be? And I was like, I'll probably do Dravit again. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. BMW did a great job like with this yeah. year, like with the new G and mm -hmm. three is like how they gave you like a full collection of yeah, yeah. all kind of colors. The G80 for me personally was a car that I never had a problem with from the beginning. I know a lot of people came on and said, well, it's going to grow on you. And all these people were hating on it in the beginning, but I actually never had an issue with this car. And a lot of people compare that mentality to how others are perceiving the G87 M2. However, I think that that's just like a different animal with these cars i always thought they looked good and i thought when people went to the csl grills it just looked that much better did you love the uh g80 from the jump i was one of the few so I, I i did this like i uh, so i didn't choose to go into the g80 i actually had a e90 m3 supercharged uh -huh. that i love dearly i'm a big fan of the e9 x generation yeah. i've actually had three so so I, it wasn't by choice. Yeah. So when I look at yours, it's like I get a nostalgia <laughs> feeling. But um, it just happened to be during uh, got into an accident. I hydroplaned, and um, it was during COVID times where everything was just twenty thousand dollars, thirty thousand dollars more. Yeah. And I just couldn't get myself to get another E9X that is thirty thousand more for the same price. I, you know, yeah. for, for what I bought yeah. uh, three years ago, four yeah. years ago. They were just out, and I was like, kind of looking at them. I was like, man, this is a mean-looking car. This is how I actually met James. I, we were at the dyno, and he 
pulled up with his car and and that's you know i started looking yeah. i was like man this looks mean in, yeah. in, in person so i was always like a fan of it the csl grill i agree with you it mm -hmm. definitely it kind of makes it more aggressive yeah it just changes, gives it yeah. the right amount of character on the front end um so the car as far as suspension what are you sitting on oh uh so it's the kw hasket it's just okay. adjustable um i still actually a little bit room in the front i can lower it a little bit more oh okay and in the back i had the version one so i cannot go any higher actually so yeah um they have a fix for it but i haven't i haven't went after yet so how many miles are on this car a lot so you <laughs> so drive? I drive i drive yes yeah I drive, so I, I just passed 33,000 miles. Uh, I think 33,500. So <laughs> I like um, to hear that, man. Yeah, I, I mean, maybe I could be the the highest, uh, unless if uh, you know someone takes it off my hands. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm driving this thing. It's my daily, um, and I work from home too. So you guys yeah. can imagine. Speaking of taking it off your hands, what? What are you thinking? <laughs> what are you thinking here, dude? So I actually you trying did, to get rid of this thing? I wasn't thinking about it, but someone approached me when I was up in, uh, in the Keys Motorsport and they were interested in buying the car yeah. as is. So I gave them a price for as is and I have a price for stock and we kind of went back and forth, but he went in a different direction. But um, yeah, definitely for the right price, anything is sellable. So, but... Uh... <laughs> you know what to say? Well, uh, yeah, so far, man, you've done a great job on this car. And why don't you tell us a little bit about the interior? Do you have any uh, interior stuff done? For the interior, I actually have one only. The only thing that I have is actually this. Oh, the carbon paddles. The Auto Technic carbon paddles. <laughs> well, it looks amazing, man. I love, the, love the red against the Dravit. Like, what a good combination of colors. The interiors on these cars are pretty sick. Yeah, they did a great job. Um, yeah, they really did. Yeah, yeah, they, they did. They did an awesome job. So tell me why you didn't go with the carbon buckets. Uh, I went to the Hendrick when they first came out and I found out that they have buckets. Uh, there was a red, Toronto red, I think. Uh, I'm four and it had the bucket seats. Mm -hmm. I got in it, sat in it, and I just felt like it was kind of holding my legs too tight. But if I would do it again, I would probably get the buckets just because of the rarity of them. But I actually was just playing around on the website the other day. They're for some reason not available to, oh, really? to order. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. But what I heard the most about the bucket seats, uh, that they're not this they're not not comfortable mm -hmm. it's just getting in and out of the seat when i heard that i was like okay that's not too bad like everybody says like oh just stuck i just have down pipes you know like <laughs> Dude, this yeah. this engine bay the titanium is such a cool look man i just it is, I yeah. love it against the dravit it's just like the whole combination man it looks so good yeah i was actually going to go for the aventuri intakes but when we were in Vajan last year we were right beside um, Apex built uh, Graham from from Florida. Yeah, and he had on his M5 the F10 M5 like all the titanium goodies And I don't think I've seen it before. Mm -hmm. So I kind of got interested. We start talking and this is the first Front mount fully titanium intake. So, yeah, dude. so this is actually the prototype So the 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 product that is out now does not look like this one. So this oh, is kind of okay. like we made it uh, we made it work, but there's two companies that do titanium. It's actually Apex and also RK Titanium. Yeah, I've Rob, heard of both of them. Up in uh, uh, New Jersey for mm -hmm. Keys Motorsport, great mm -hmm. guy too. Like they sell uh, titanium products and intakes and all that. So and a full exhaust too. Tell me about you have like a um, like a dress up. Oh kit, yeah, like so this is Downstar. Thing? Downstar. Okay. So cool. shout out to Frank. Yeah, that looks yeah, sick so. too. And and what and what do you have on your engine cover? I these are also these. part of the RK Titanium. They're oh, some, cool! Yeah. They also come with the here uh, for the ECU cover. Oh, okay. Uh, for the cow. Uh, wow! So you can really they, just like dress yeah, up like the whole thing. I like how you didn't go too far. Like it, it just looks very, very again, just tasteful. And then those intakes obviously feed yeah. up through to the front. Yep of the grill so they're just bringing in all of that cold air so what about like the dme or tune yeah or, so it's actually fuel? it's actually femto unlock the guys at uh, your empire matt helped me out they sent it off to finland mm -hmm. and we got it unlocked i have uh, apex built uh, catalyst downpipes and a full race mid pipe and axle back exhaust by tfl italy i think it's one of the greatest sound in the uh, yeah i don't talk much about it but uh i'll let the like, let the exhaust speak for itself yeah you know? dude, it sounds really good no it, it sounds it sounds amazing and also the intakes like the combination with the intake induction noise yeah, yeah. and then the exhaust is just wait till you guys hear this if you want something nuts. loud this is loud that's yeah for it's sure, loud so. well is it is it straight is there any resonation or is it pretty uh, much there's no resonation but mm -hmm. the muffler is like this big yeah so so, it's, so uh, basically it's open all the way to the mufflers yeah, yeah. and then it's valved and it's valved. Yeah. yeah. It's and so actually, sick. speaking of valve, they actually have the Daler uh, Germany. The Shout out to George. Valve controller. Oh, nice. So yeah. I can widely open it. Mm -hmm. Don't close it, of course. So. Dude, 
Heck yeah. So it's Femton locked. Who actually tuned the car? So it's Utku. The Utku sauce. Utku sauce. Yeah. <laughs> so he had tuned, uh, he tuned James's M5, yes. right? Yeah. yeah. And and few, few, few guys here at, at Charlotte now. They, I've been hearing a lot about him. I have an E40 tuned. So with a 93 tune, you're kind of running low 600s. Mm -hmm. And with the seven, with the E40, you're kind of low 700s. Tools. Yeah. So Quick and, and just for you. Um, John, I I went and got some E, so we're on the E42. You know right I now. like that. You know <laughs> so, I like that E, yeah. bro. Give me a little bit of that sauce. The corn. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> stock turbo, stock engine. Not not. It's just literally bolt-ons yeah. and the E42. It, it's amazing to me that you just do those few things. It's a cheat code. And you're at 700. It's, it's it's, it is literally a cheat code. Yeah. I mean, it's like not even fair. The S58 is just such a such a crazy platform. Like, it's funny to me because you always see the S55 guys and the B58 guys just feuding <laughs> back and forth. And then the S58 guys are just standing there like, yeah, I, I we know, that, I we know we're post. good. We don't need to mess with you guys. <laughs> I saw, I saw that post. Now more and more people are starting to recognize and yeah. realize what the car can do. There's yeah. a few guys out there that are they're running eights and nines like M Life and New yeah. York. Uh, S58 New York City. They're so fast. They're 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 just killing it. So yeah, it's uh, the build is insane. And the cool thing is, like I said before, it's a really tasteful build, but it also has usable power. It's not like too nuts for the streets. Yeah. Like you can drive this car daily, throw in the E40 tune, smack a bunch of people on the street, <laughs> and then go get your groceries on the way home. And that's why I really do like this platform. <laughs> it's so loud. It's, what was that, third gear? Yeah, it was third. Holy. <laughs> Dude. This car feels great. Are you kidding? <laughs> I haven't been in a fast car in so long. It's like, oh my God. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's fast. So I forgot I have uh, <laughs> XHP. XHP stage oh, three. Man. <laughs> I will Bro. say with X XHP on a Z on a ZF8 trans, it transforms. It's it, yeah. it's damn near DCT clamping. Yeah, it's, like it's, it, it's shift. Yeah. It's good. It's fast and it's it's hard. faster because I'm not holding it's more dramatic yeah yeah because yeah. I yeah. started doing this yeah exactly that's what I was doing <laughs> man it feels really good though yeah. like it's just so smooth the way that this car puts down the power is just effortless and it feels great the one thing that I that my only complaint with this car is how light the steering is the steering is so light like it most people wouldn't even complain about that but going from like the cars that I'm used to with like the hydraulic steering, when you come back to a light electronic steering car, it is so light. It's almost too light. <laughs> the previous M2, it's definitely, you can tell how much it like handled, right? A little bit of body roll. So yeah, that's that, that's going to be the difference them. between like when you go into like my E92. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> the old 
go 10 over the speed limit? Yeah, that was, like, that was speed limit, dude. That was going to go that fast. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. No lift. <laughs> it feels great. Full sense. It feels really good. Yeah. <laughs> Rest assured, man, this car feels incredible. You driving the E92 for so long, you're taking it out all on yeah. the <laughs> You're like, is that 400 more horsepower? <laughs> hey man, as much as I love my older cars, these newer cars that have the S58s and like the, the newer B58s, man, they feel so good when you throw some modifications at them. Like they just, they eat it so well. Yeah. And they just put down the power and just drive overall so, so good. Like I always try to be that guy who's like, I love my older cars, <laughs> but man, these newer cars do it really good. Like yeah, they yeah, perform, yeah, really 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 good <laughs> for the ones that can't see there's a bunch of cars in front of us that's yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm being responsible I'm being responsible <laughs> where are we going I'm sorry I'm burning up all your gas too. No, like I probably owe you like a hundred no I got it now. I got it for this you're good then <laughs> it's a small one yeah <laughs> It's really loud. Yeah. Like it's it's difficult to tell in the car because these cars do a really good job of uh, depressing a lot of the noise. But this car is loud. Well, dude, thank you so much for letting me drive yeah, this car. I, it's uh, it's been a really cool experience, especially one that's modified to this level. It's just uh, absolutely man. slowly convincing dude. me that I, <laughs> I might need. Let's I might it, need a G. I'm pretty sure, just like me, many people are uh, would love to see what we will oh. do with it. Yeah, so yeah. you're an artist, so that's an art. Well, right? I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Yusuf, thank you again so much for coming yeah, no onto problem. the channel and telling us about your beautiful G80. Is that very convincing. I might, <laughs> I might have to get one in the future. But um, yeah, if you guys want to follow Yusuf, I will leave his Instagram and everything down below. And I'll also try to find all of the modifications and like links for you guys if you have a G8X car and you're trying to do the same modifications as him. Again, thank you guys so much for watching the video. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out.